zeros of a quadratic polynomial. Let's take a quadratic polynomial x squared plus x minus 6. We make a table of values for y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. Find the values of y corresponding to the given values of x. Key in your answers. We now have the completed table. From the table, find the zeros of x squared plus x minus 6. Key in the answers. We draw the graph of y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 using the table of values which we have developed. Observe the graph carefully. From the graph, find the points of intersection of the curve and the x-axis. Key in your answers. The graph of y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 is a curve which intersects the x-axis at the points minus 3, 0 and 2, 0. From the table, we know that the zeros of x squared plus x minus 6 are minus 3 and 2. So the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x squared plus x minus 6 are the x-coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the x-axis. There are three different cases regarding the intersection of the graph of the quadratic polynomial and the x-axis. The curve intersects the x-axis at two distinct points. The quadratic polynomial has two zeros. The curve intersects the x-axis at exactly one point. The quadratic polynomial has only one zero. The curve does not intersect the x-axis at any point. The quadratic polynomial has no zero. We find that a quadratic polynomial can have two distinct zeros or two equal zeros, that is, one zero or no zero. A quadratic polynomial can have a maximum of two zeros. Consider px is equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. We find the zeros of px. The zeros of 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 are 1 and minus 5 by 3. We get the sum of its zeros as minus 2 by 3.
we get the product of its zeros as minus 5 by 3. In general, for a quadratic polynomial, px is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, a not equal to zero. The sum of its zeros is equal to minus b by a, and the product of its zeros is equal to c by a.